today's video, <laughs> today's today's food, <laughs> but today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in the contents of our English space book at the moment. Don't forget to open it up, it's in black and white there, so that you can see if you're interested in seeing what's inside these packages, stay tuned and I hope to see you in the next video. So, in today's video, we're going to be simulating space food. Now, I'm very, very curious as to what's inside some of this packaging. Now, like I showed you in the video yesterday, and I'll put uh, a card to it up here, these are what's called ORPs, or MRE food, um, so Meals Ready to Eat. It's um, a shelf-stable food, so it's a pre-cooked food put into um, a special vacuum-packed um, packaging, so it's safe, it's got a long shelf life, and it can last for a long time. And this is the closest simulation to what a civilian would be able to eat on Earth, to what astronauts eat basically in space. And when I say that, I mean um, the American astronauts, Na uh, NASA astronauts, ESA astronauts, so European um, Space Agency astronauts, because um, um, the Russians eat their food in a slightly different uh, packaging manner. So I've kind of gone through the packaging and I've selected out the things that are the most relative or representative of what astronaut food is like. So the main course that I'm going to be eating uh, or trying is this uh, Thai lamb curry because of the packaging. It's very much the same. I'm curious to see what it looks like inside. Um, now, we yesterday we talked about tubes and cubes. Now, we're not going to, I'm not going to open up the sweetened condensed milk because um, um, most people will know what that's like, but um, I'm going to open up the cube, which is basically this little muesli bar, so we can see what that looks like. Uh, it says a muesli bar, but it feels much more compact than your ordinary muesli bar, so I'm very curious to see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to open up our mystery can and find out what's in there. I'm pretty sure it's cheese. Um, and then we're also going to look at sports drink. Now there's two different kind of drink, well there's a multitude of drink options offered in an ORP or MRE kit, and that's uh, tea, coffee, um, one of the other ones was hot chocolate drink, or just it's just called chocolate drink. Um, a lot of these packages too have the nutritional guide table on the back, which a lot of the students will remember from term one when we had the life education van come and talk about um, diet and food and the digestive system and whatnot, so the nutritional guide. I'm not gonna open that, there's no point because most of you will be familiar with chocolate drink, um, but I am interested in the sports drink, just to show you what it's like. So I'm going to probably open up, um, we'll go probably, we'll go orange and mango, because that sounds like the nicest one. Uh, there is lemon and lime as well, so they offer you choices, which is good. Now, um, in space, they'll be drinking probably just as much water as you would drink on Earth. The only difference being is that it's recycled water. What I mean by that is once you drink, have a drink up there and you go to the bathroom, the water is for the most part recycled and you drink it again if you catch my drift. So adding delicious flavor to it would probably pretty, be pretty nice. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this packet here and add it to my cup of water. And give it a bit of a stir. And I'll show you what it looks like. I would say that this uh, is just like a single serve of like raro, if you're familiar with what raro is, uh, some kind of um, cordial mix. Uh, slightly more pink, I'll show you in a second. Oh no, we're going orange now, that's good. Now electrolytes are really, really important in any field where you're um, doing a lot of exercise or exerting yourself a lot. Um, I would assume that they might not necessarily be drinking actual electrolyte drinks, but they might be drinking some kind of very similar nutritious drink that's going to replace vitamins and minerals lost after exercise. So I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. But so there it is there, just an ordinary cordial drink there. Tastes quite chemically. Um, it's 
probably like a stronger flavor than Gatorade. If you're familiar with Gatorade or Powerade, it tastes very similar, but it tastes like, I want to say more substantial. So there's more that they've added into it to, for its um, health benefits, okay? Uh, nutritional benefit. Yeah, quite interesting. It tastes like orange and mango, but it tastes like there's something being added into it. And you, you can, it medicinal <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. So it tastes like they've added some kind of extra nutrients and stuff to it. So the next thing I want to add, open is um, this muesli bar. So the first cube. Now, an ORP comes with, oh wow, that's not what I thought of at all. Interesting. So this is Appleberry Sultana, and so looks very familiar to a lot of people's school lunches. It'll be designed like this as a single serving. Um, so there's a, you can see it's got a lot of wholemeal grains in it, so it's obviously quite fibrous uh, with the fruit, and so you're exerting yourself a lot, so there's gonna be a lot of sugars in there. Now by comparison to a school lunch, it does taste similar to those kind of bars that some of you would get in school lunch. Um, the fruit flavor is very much more sultanery. I can taste the sultanas over everything else. Um, and there'll be a reason for that. It'll be a very similar thing probably to what an astronaut might eat as well because it's dehydrated fruits. So the fruit still has its nutritional content. But um, it's obviously reduced in size. They're not you know, sending out great sultanas. That's quite nice. Very sweet. Obviously, it's replacing sugars and things like that. Um, I should probably do mystery can next, because I think the last one will be very messy is probably the best way to put it. So, I'm going to open up mystery can. Ah, it is two. So, this is a shout out to Emma in Mr. Ashley's class. She was adamant that this had to be cheese because she'd seen it before. And this is like a, a heavily processed craft cheese spread, I would say. Um, I'm just gonna just straight up eat a piece of it. There, it does, the ORP comes with crackers, but um, yeah, cheese, processed cheese. Um, now it's not like the cheese that tastes like the, like the cheddar cheese you might get with a little snack, but it's not as creamy, it's quite solid. Um, the reason why they would have done that being quite solid is so that the shelf life is extended. So it will last a really, really long time. Um, it's quite nice cheese, um, but it, it tastes like cheese slices. That's the best way to describe it. Um, so I suppose if you wanted cheese, some cheese inside one of your um, actual meal packs, you could add it and um, add a whole bunch of flavor to your meal. That's actually quite nice cheese. If you're someone that likes processed cheese. Man, that's, juice is a bit funny, it tastes weird to me. I'm not used to drinking juice like that. So, um, I'm just gonna quickly grab a pair of scissors. Now, um, on, on the packet there, you can see like a little nick here, and that allows you to tear the packet off. Now, from um, information that I've researched, they suggest to the astronauts that they eat it this way. And the reason is, is that if you're eating it sideways, it acts more like a bowl or a container than acting like this because it's a sack, and then you're having to dig all the way to the bottom to get the last remnants out. By doing it like this way, you're able to um, eat the contents of the packet much more easily. It's, it's easier to get your hand in and eat the food out. So I'm gonna do it just like an astronaut is meant to do it. And each astronaut is issued with um, a cutlery set and a pair of scissors so that they can open up their food containers. So that's how they would do it. Hopefully I don't make a big old mess. Oh, that's totally different to what I thought. Now. Ooh, quite delicious. So, hopefully you can see in there. So, let's just turn it on the light a bit. 
So it's got a, con- a very um, stewy consistency. Um, that's the best way to, that I can think of describing it. It looks, looks very gluggy. It reminds me of food that you get um, out of a can, which makes sense because cans are shelf stable and these are, NASA calls these um, soft cans. So that's what it looks like. It smells delicious. Tastes good too. Definitely um, get the taste of the curry because this is the Thailand curry. Um, the vegetables are quite good in there. Um, they're, they're cooked perfectly, really. Um, it's quite an interesting product. Now, take into account, too, that astronauts going into space, um, astronauts going into space, of course they're going into space, Mr. Ashley, they're astronauts. Um, astronauts um, on missions, they'll have a much broader menu uh, and the menu would be more specific to Americans or Europeans, etc., 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 Russians. They'll eat uh, meals based on their nationality. Um, now, the other research that I've done, my goodness, that's quite good actually. Um, um, the Japanese, they have a combination from what I've what I've seen in videos and things. They eat a combination of cans and sachets like this. Um, but realistically, whenever an uh, astronaut is stationed to the ISS, they'll basically be sharing and eating whatever's on hand. So someone has Thai lamb curry, and then someone else has um, Texas beef brisket, is one that I saw on a menu. Um, they might share. They might say, uh, if you give me half of yours, I'll give you half of mine, and we'll just try it out and see what it's like. And you know, Or you really like Thai lamb curry, you give me your beef brisket, and I'll have that. Um, alternatively, the Russians might say, yeah, I'll swap you one of your entrees for one of my cans. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it's a really interesting food stuff. This is different. Like this is a huge, huge meal. There's a lot of food in here. Um, and if you take into account this is one day's consumption for a soldier, um, an astronaut's consumption would be very much the same. And astronauts would be on a weekly basis, as far as I'm aware monitoring their cal- uh, calorific, I think is the word, intake, so um, their calorie intake, seeing how much, um, so that the mission control is monitoring whether or not they're losing or gaining weight, so we don't want you to uh, eat these products because you're gaining, gaining a lot of unnecessary weight, things like that, because in space the lack of gravity does a lot of weird and funky things to your body. Your, mus- uh, your muscles and bones degenerate because there's not as much gravity and so you're not really having to use as much force and things to move around and that also means that uh, there, there's less uh, stress and pressure on your bones so your bones start to weaken a little bit so they'll be monitoring all of these nutritional things for these purposes. Um, if you ever get your hands on one of these and I know a lot of places sell them, um, Kiwi Disposal sells them, uh, places like Kathmandu do a variety a variation on this for camping purposes that are made by um, an independent company. I, I re- recommend that get get one and try it out. They're quite interesting. The, I can see the, the principle behind them and that people would use them for camping and hiking and whatnot. And I can also see and understand the principle as to why that um, the space program would use these. So it's definitely well worth um, looking into. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm sorry we don't have taste of vision yet. Um, if you're a student at my school and you're interested in looking at uh, the pack, because there's double basically of everything in this pack, so I've only probably I've opened less than half of what's in the pack. By all means, come along and visit me, and I can show you what's in the packaging. Um, but for now, kakitia no. I hope you liked that video, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Ashley's place.